from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday, stop stories. As expected, the House passed that resolution yesterday, allowing for the extension of the emergency powers orders to the middle of August. No opposition support on a short debate. It's now on the way to the Senate, where it's expected to be approved also. Health Minister Wells providing the coronavirus numbers for members yesterday. Among them, cases among young children are on the increase, he says. The Bahamas has a positivity rate of around 15 percent. That's well above the internationally recognized standard of 5 percent. And he says that vaccine hesitancy continues to be a major problem, revealing that even among health care workers, less than 50 percent of them have come forward to get vaccinated. And there's some other troubling numbers also. The Uniform Brand Service have had 1,199 persons vaccinated of its 7,770 individuals, a 15.4%. Among those 60 years and older, 6,339 of the 28,630 or 22.1 percent of those 60 and older have been vaccinated. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Ministry of Health teams on the way to three islands, Andros, the Berries, and Cat Island, to find out what's leading to increased cases on those islands recently. Along with a vaccination team, the Prime Minister putting new curfew hours in place for those islands effective today because of those increases, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Other changes could come depending on what health officials find. The identity of the government high school student fatally stabbed on campus this week, released officially now. He's 15-year-old Ken Paul his relatives expressing their shock and grief. National Security Minister Dames and Education Minister Lloyd on school campus yesterday to formally express condolences. Police continue to work that case. Three lawyers, Code Smith, Carlton Martin, and Algernon Allen, now suing former Life at Key resident Peter Nygott for $14 million, claiming in court documents that he hadn't paid what he owes. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, mostly cloudy and windy today. Highs in the low to mid-80s, 83 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 84 at Matthewtown. Advisories in place for boaters, winds gusting to 30 knots, the seas rough. Low tide now, the next high around 3 this afternoon. Mostly cloudy tonight, winds decreasing, lows from the low to upper 70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're approaching the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations early and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines diplomatic efforts continue to try and get a formal ceasefire in place in the Middle East. Standoff between Israel and Palestine continues. The death toll over 200 combined, most of them on the Palestinian side, from Israeli airstrikes on targets in Gaza. Hope is fading for 37 persons missing after a barge sank off Mumbai during that major storm that hit West India earlier. Greek authorities forced to evacuate six villages due to a major forest fire Burning in that country, to this point, no deaths have been reported. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 491, SO 494, Rubis $4.89 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the latest on the beach soccer team competing in Costa Rica. Tribune Sports has details of a loss to El Salvador. Get the latest Major League Baseball news, including another no-hitter that found out what Jazz did in Philadelphia last night in a Marlins win. Get the latest on the NBA playoffs. The Lakers survive against Golden State. 
16 points for John Quell Jones last night. Another win for the Connecticut Sun in the WNBA. They're off to a 3-0 and start. Read about it in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 